I am the consummate passenger, if you will. I am the guy who is in the passenger seat, because I don't drive. That's not a thing I do. I get picked up by people. But I am the consummate passenger. I am the navigator. You pick me up, I'm going to make sure we get there. That's my job. If I'm in that passenger seat, my job is to make sure we get there. I'm going to handle the GPS maps, whatever. In that position, I have seen a lot of things on the road, because I've been cross-country, I've been up and down the east and west coast before, it's happened. I've been a lot of places, done a lot of passengering and navigating. I've seen a lot of things, and I have to level with you people. You suck at driving. On the whole, you people suck at driving. Not a judgment against any particular person, because I don't know how you, in specific, drive. I can only judge on what I have seen, and that is that the majority of drivers do not know what driving is. They somehow get into a car and make it to their destinations in peril every day, is what it looks like. People are just flinging themselves onto the road with reckless abandon with this somehow mystic prayer that they don't die this time. Now, let me tell you a few things about how you don't have to be in that situation. And the first thing I want to talk about is the turn signal. This is a device that makes things safer. It's a device that helps everybody know what's going on. And it's an often overlooked thing. And it shouldn't be. You can just flick your turn signal when you're about to go into another lane, especially when a car is coming, right? If they're going faster than you and a car is in the lane, the best approach is to wait until they're, be they're already gone past you. That is the optimal approach. However, if you must merge, use a turn signal. Let the guy know you are coming in because otherwise he might hit you. And that is an easily avoided accident by just drive the wheel, click, right? You're done. Turn signal. It is that simple. You turn the wheel, it clicks for you, and it's off. It is that simple. And it takes nothing out of your time. So just Please use that. It is safe to use your turn signal. It is good, easy, and it makes things better for everyone. Now, merging. Merging is another thing. It relates to the turn signal, but it, there's even more fundamental points than that, which is that you can't always just merge freely no matter what. There, you actually do have to pay attention to what is coming down the road, and if it's going really fast and you're trying to merge on the highway, judge. In fact, this applies to any merging period. Are you about to enter the road from a store? Are you about to enter the highway from an exit? Any of these things. Make damn sure you don't have somebody speeding down the road, coming at you, and you're about to merge into their face. Because it's not a face, it's a car, it's two tons of metal, completely different story, out. So, merging is pretty simple once we get that down, right? Just don't merge into two things, because you cannot transpose matter. Cars are matter, you are matter, you hit cars, explosion. Bam, okay. So, that down, let's address another core issue, which is anger on the road. Road rage. Everyone knows about road rage if you don't have someone or yourself who suffers from it. This is not helpful. And, of course it's not helpful, right? What am I saying? No. It's more than not helpful. You do not make good decisions when angry. This is just true. When you're driving and you're angry, you're liable to cut other people off, you're liable to, like, flick people off. You're liable to drive aggressively and dangerously because you're in the grip of anger, which really encourages you to stop making good choices. And when you are behind two tons of metal, that is exactly the recipe that is needed to create death and carnage, is you being pissed off behind two tons of metal in 70-mile-an-hour traffic. I'm sure you can all see how that doesn't mix. So, when you find yourself, or you're with somebody who's getting pissed, or you find yourself getting pissed with this road rage thing, take a deep breath. I mean, if it really gets to you and you can pull over, pull over. It is not worth it to drive that angry because you are liable to really fuck up. Someone cuts you off, instead of the reasonable answer of, oh, damn it, why'd he do that? You know, fuck that guy. You might try to hit him. I've, I've seen it happen on the road, you know, I've, se I've heard of people doing this. Or, you know, pull a gun out and shoot somebody. That does happen, and there's literally no call for this. As long as people can take a deep breath and realize driving sucks, yes. But, but, it'll be over. It'll be over. You'll be done at some point. No matter how far you're driving, eventually you're done driving. It'll be over. That should be your mantra at that point. If it needs to be, it will be over. It's just the driving, man. Because road rage is entirely unnecessary and it leads to entirely avoidable death and accidents. And now another quick point here is 
just set out ahead of time with enough time to get there, including a few delays. Don't last minute unless you have to. That applies to everything in life, but especially driving, because, well, if you have to get somewhere really quick and you're in a rush, you're obviously more dangerous. You're in a rush. You're going to neglect things. Leave yourself time to be caught in that random traffic jam. And then, at worst case, just accept you're going to be late. Don't sit there and try to go 95 down the street because you're late. Accept you're going to be late. Call in. Do what you have to do. But it's better late than dead. I think everyone can agree on that. Something to think about real quick.